in Florida. These are all moving up and around the upper high, which is dominating us. At times, some of those storms are able to slide across the North Shore of Mississippi. Could see some in Mississippi a little bit later on in our southern Mississippi counties. Already have some up near Hattiesburg, but that has been we're right in the battleground between the heat and the storm track. And generally speaking, the heat has won out. Another excessive heat warning will be in effect for tomorrow. Again, the issue is that we get hot during the day and really don't cool off much at night. Overnight low or this morning lows, I should say, we're in the 70s, low 80s, so heat indices, even as of 5, 6, 7 a.m., are still in the upper 80s and lower 90s. So even at night and in the early morning, it is still hot. Temperatures right now are in the low mid 90s. The oppressive humidity is still with us and heat indices still very much in the triple digits. This will be the case through the weekend and early next week, but there are some signs that this pattern will change. We'll talk more about that in a second. Already starting to see some severe weather developing across North Mississippi and a new severe thunderstorm watch has been issued. It does include our southern Mississippi counties, Pearl River, Hancock and Harrison. Right now the thunderstorm activity is out outside of that area, but it is possible to see some passing through later on today. This watch will be in effect until midnight tonight. Just be wary of any of these thunderstorms developing. Doesn't look like we would see much of any activity in southeast Louisiana. Today's high 94. So again, we're not hitting record temperatures. It's just almost record level heat indices. And again, as I said, this was the first time this season and not often do we see an excessive heat warning with heat indices up above 110. That is extreme value for Southeast Louisiana at the moment. A lot of sunshine and again just off to our East Mississippi severe thunderstorms. So we are right in between 91 is our current temperature with a heat index of 104. At least there is a little bit of a breeze, so it's not just a stagnant air mass. Kind of interesting if you were up early, early this morning, and I mean going back to about 1 2 a.m. had some thunderstorms that were approaching uh, North Shore and for a while there was a severe thunderstorm watch issue. Thankfully those storms fizzled. We had just the high cloud in a was around earlier this morning and then as that cleared out we have been under bright sunshine most of the day all of these disturbances are coming in from within this upper pattern this is the subtropical jet what is actually helping to fuel these storms is not gulf moisture it's moisture coming in from the pacific ocean across the desert southwest picking up that instability over the plains and it is basically following this storm track as long as the storm track stays in place with the upper high centered over more eastern mexico it will continue and likely to do so through the weekend. So most of the storms kind of follow along this path. But as I said, that pattern will start to change through the weekend. The upper high going to remain about the same. So most storminess and really any storm chances will be along that North Shore Mississippi corridor, but generally north of us as we head into next week. Finally, some changes. The upper high shifts off to the west and upper low starts to take over and this upper feature could start to increase our rain chances. The depending upon the position of the low, but also what it's going to do is help to reinforce more of a northerly flow, which should also get rid of the oppressive humidity. So while not exactly a good feel air mass, we will start to see those dew points coming out of the mid upper 70s and more 60s to lower 70s. So there are some changes on the horizon. Storms again will generally stay more Mississippi at times, perhaps crossing onto the North Shore, but that would probably be a little bit less likely. Quick check of our wave out of the tropics. Hurricane Center has increased the chance for development over the next several days at 60%. Long range models keeping this away from us. So this does not appear to be an issue. But even so, going through next week, this is still a long way out. Does appear as though the model guidance is in pretty decent agreement with where this could go. And if it does become a name storm before reaching the Caribbean, it would be the earliest on record for a storm to develop east of the Caribbean. Again, that far out in the Atlantic is kind of early this time of year. 96 are high and mostly dry through the week. Finally, that upper ridge breaking down with our rain chances starting to return by mid next week.